Let me ask you a question. Do you feel like you are the most important resource in your organization or your company or your business or whatever your workplace is? Here's another way of putting it. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being I am indispensable, zero being I don't matter at all, what number would you give yourself about how important and significant you feel to your organization? Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Nelson. And in today's video, I'm talking about what it takes to be motivated and fully engaged, fully thriving in our workplaces. I call it the four factors of innovative engagement, the four factors vital to every person and every team in an organization for people to be fully motivated and fully engaged. See, here's why this is important. Research shows us that in, in today's world, almost 80% of the employees in the workplace are at some level of disengagement. Disengagement. What this means is that people are coming to work, the far majority of people, and they're not fully engaged in the process of work. They're not necessarily loyal to the company. They don't feel any deep personal stake in what happens. They're there to take a paycheck. They're there to give their best that they, that they can or they're allowed to. And then at the end of the day, they go home. They attend to their personal lives, wake up the next morning, and the cycle repeats itself. There's no positive energy for going to work, no excitement, no engagement when they get there. That's called a, some level of disengagement. So here's why this matters. We now know through a strong research that the higher level of disengagement there is, the higher level of stress and burnout there are in the workplace. We feel more, we, we feel more stress, more anxiety. Our health goes down. Accidents happen on a more frequent level to those who are more disengaged in, in the workplace. And so as a result, companies are spending billions of dollars every year to have to rehire and retrain people to fill the positions of those who have left. They've left because they've burned out. They've left because they've gotten tired. They left because they don't feel like they're really making a difference. There's no emotional connection to that place. They, le they've, they left because they don't feel supported and encouraged and developed. So they're gone and the companies then have to spend all this money. In today's video, I want to talk and introduce what I call the most significant factors to building engaged and motivated teams and workers in the workplace. I call them the four factors of innovative engagement. These four factors have to be in place in, in the workplace for people to be fully motivated, fully inspired in order to contrib contribute their very best in new and effective ways. Four factors. Here they are. Number one, competency. I have to feel that I am competent in what I'm being asked to do. Now that I'll, I'll unpack competency in, in the next video, but l let me just say that competency then for me to feel competent, that means I have to, I have to have support, some training, some developing. I have to know who I am enough to know that this is my sweet spot. These are the strengths that my highest level of natural preferences and strengths and et cetera. We'll talk more about that in the next video, but competency. Number two is authenticity. For me to be fully engaged and motivated, I have to feel that permission to show up at work as my full, authentic, honest, complete self. Now here, here's why this is important. My authenticity leads itself to a certain kind of voice that I contribute. And so I have to feel that my voice, my unique authentic voice actually will be heard and listened to that my voice can make a transformational difference in, in the whole organization. If my voice is just sidelined, then my motivation level drops. How often have you sat in a committee meeting or a team meeting and made a comment and the leader just sort of bypassed it and, and, and went on to the, to the next person. Or you gave an idea and it didn't seem to matter at all. No one said, hey, thanks for that. Let's talk about it. So you felt completely excluded in that sense. Your voice did not count, whether it's for the future of your career in that place or whether it's making a contribution to the team. 
Thirdly, the third thing that has to be in place for us to feel motivated and engaged is what is connectedness. I have to feel uh, c- meaningful connections to the people I work with, including the leaders in my organization. There has to be the sense that I have respect for them, they have respect for me, and this connectedness, we understand each other, we know each other more than just a hi, how are you? Connectedness. And then number four, all those three have to be bathed in the environment of psychological safety. Psychological safety is when I feel that when I say something, it will be received, that there is a space that is created for all of us on the team or in the, in, in the culture of that company where we matter, where there's respect and honor given to us, where there's not judgment, where there's not put downs. In fact, research shows us that the highest levels of innovation and creativity on the team is when psychological safety happens and exists. Why? Because psychological safety creates trust and trust creates psychological safety. And it's it's this wonderful, rich, rich cycle that happens and feeds on each other. That's the whole point of trust. I have to be able to trust you. You have to be able to trust me. That means we show up with consistency. That means we are as honest as we possibly can. And that means we're vulnerable with each other because we know we can do it without impunity. Competency, authenticity, connectedness, and psychological safety. So let me ask you again on a scale of one to 10, what number would you give yourself in terms of how significant you feel right now to the importance and significance of your organization. I hope you rated it higher than a five. I hope you rated it an eight or nine. But even if you didn't, my question to you is, what can you do, what is within your power to raise that number? If you're a leader listening today and watching, then you ask yourself, how would my team rate and rank this? What do I need to do to create these four factors more completely so that my team and the people around me feel that they can show up with competency, with authenticity, with connectedness and psychological safety? So stay tuned. The next video will be diving deep in what competency means and what that looks like for you. And if you're a leader, how you can address it. If you're an individual contributor, what can I do to increase my competency? I hope you'll watch when the next video comes out. Thanks for listening and watching today.